Okay, this is 4816 Palmer. It's a nice big house and it's across the street from all these apartments. So there's a lot of foot action coming across the foot, foot traffic through here. So we get some signage in the window. This will be running in a minute. Okay, did a nice job painting everything in front. I'm not really crazy about that board down there, but we want to keep the price down on this property as a uh, uh, location and rent them out. Doesn't suffice to put extensive amount of funds into it. Um, so the top roof, it's sustainable. So we didn't really get much into that, but we've got all these columns repainted and uh, these handrails redone. And that was all redone, ripped down last time. So we come into the property, we've got the existing flooring in here, completely repainted. Obviously, I got the boards on the window for security purposes because it's just finished. So we'll get some security window, window gates in there, bars. Um, I don't have my flashlight, so I'm gonna see how we can do this without it. Let's see if I'm all right. Just got your new carpet, fresh paint. repainted so we did this very inexpensive this is a normal tenant turnover type property so we'll repaint drywall new fixtures new carpet keeping our costs down if we come to a situation where it's not renting then we will uh, do some additional things this was existing tile and vanity, so it's just a mess. It's all been nice and clean. Got the ceramic tile backsplash. It's a nice bathroom. Got a new toilet in here. Got a closet here. Closet, windows are good. They bought these uh, makeshift window covers, which is smart. So nobody can look in here. Another new fixture. Got the existing ceiling. Back room, same thing. New fixture. Complete new paint job. I do like multicolor. This contractor does it all white, which will suffice on a pricing that we're getting because this is definitely in the realm of, of uh, uh, inexpensive rehab. There's a big unit. Three bedrooms in here. Uh, the kitchen. And it's got nice flooring that we kept here. They cleaned it up really nice. We do need to get these boards off the windows. I don't like that. Cabinets are looking pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Some stupid idiots leave it paint out. Not smart, so I gotta get that cleaned up. Okay, so we're gonna have a punch list of stuff to finish off, but we've got a good refrigerator, good range countertop I'm gonna tell them they need to get this cut down that doesn't look right hanging off the end like that and you got the back door where we should have dead bolts going across the top and bottom for security purposes and that's all boarded up right now so security purposes is a good idea okay so let's see what the basement looks like. I got lights. Don't have a flashlight. So we've got the furnace, the hot water heater. Looks a little damp down here, but I don't smell any mildew smells. 
So, could be an issue with water in this basement, but they do have the furnace up on block. So I'm thinking we're gonna need a dehumidifier down here, and if not, a sump pump. Now the hot water here, as you can see, is not put up on block. We should probably get that done if we have concerns of water coming in here. So that's something that I'll address. But otherwise, nice clean basement and no mildew mold smell. So we're good there. And the back door is completely secured with those brackets and two by four. Okay, so this is 4816 Palmer.